Hello everybody, I am Renzo Mox, and welcome to the Unity Mode Review of Tahu and, well, Dicker. So, what you're gonna need for this route, er, I guess, I keep calling it build. What you're going to need for this combi model is Tahu, Unite or Fire, obviously. Iker, Creature of Fire, or Iker, however you want to say it. I said Creature of Fire. And then the Golden Mask from the Tahu set. So you're going to need everything from the Tahu set, and you're going to need just Iker from the Iker set, because, you know, there's a Shadow Trap, and you don't need that. So, let's get on to the... It's not really a speed uniting process, but, you know... I did ask, I did add fancy fast music to kind of make it seem like it's going on fast, and I did appropriately go very fast. So, yeah, let's get on to it. No wonder he's the poster boy for this series of Bionicle. Holy mackerel, this guy is just awesome. He's probably and okay, no, he's not my favorite Unity mode, or he might be. I can't tell right now. Um, I'll make a proper decision at by the end of these reviews, but to be honest, he looks actually amazing. I don't know what it is about him. It looks so good. and. Yes, this was pretty much the Unity mode shown multiple times. Uh, I believe it was first shown... Yeah, okay. When we first got the magazine image, uh, the... Or, uh, I guess it's a... I was, I was about to say Kellogg's. It's a catalog. Um, when, and I actually re did review those images. I'm not sure if they're still up now, but... Uh, not because anyone took them down. I took them down, I think. I can't remember. But I believe I reviewed the images, and I believe this is what we got. Now, we saw that image, and then we got a poster image, and that was just, he was the only one united. And I'm so glad, because honestly, his unity mode looks probably the best. First of all, this is one of the examples I was making earlier with the Pohatu set review about the mask matching the creature head. It blends in so well. Not only that, but it really just torches tortures the older color scheme there is no longer any red besides these two pieces on the legs that is it i you know usually i would hate that but the color scheme works so good now and of course i miss the red i mean who doesn't miss the red but you know it still looks very nice and you can't even see all of them he's so tall but uh basically what this gives tahu is wings that's the main thing you know um pohatu gets like a tail and like some like shoulder armor and belt armor or something like that and a couple swords golly gets a gun and a tail and a couple fins Leewa gets armor and and wings Tahu just gets wings so yeah and I have his swords out like this but you know you can this is the way I like to keep them because they're like oh they're ready for battle and you know I'm always ready for battle not me personally but Tahu is always ready for battle and as we see in Journey to One, he enjoys flying a lot. But, you know, you can move the wings around, uh, which is something I need to, like, show this on, a, like, a slide. Uh, as you see, you just kind of keep the legs there, which is okay. It doesn't really add anything to the bulk. I mean, you could argue that that's, like, I don't know, a tail or something like that. Um, but, you know, the function with his him flying, it does work. And, you know, you can actually fold the wings down, too, to get this kind of look. And, sorry for that long pause, like, to get this kind of look. But, uh, no, you can get his wings down, which do look fine. I mean, I will admit, they don't actually look that bad. It kind of looks like a cape, a fire cape, if you will. But then, you know, rise his wings up. And, you know, you could keep them close to the shoulders, or you can move them away from the shoulders. But, just giving Tahu the wings in the first place look very nice. It's a change that I would not expect from LEGO. And, of course, you know, you have the... Of course you have the wing function. I mean, why would you not? Um, 
I don't think I, I personally like Uxar much better than Icker. Nothing against Icker. He's a great set, but you know, just not my cup of tea personally. Uh, I much rather prefer Uxar over Iker, or Iker, however you want to say it. But he still looks incredibly nice as is. Not to mention the combi model. Uh, gold is basically Tahu's main color scheme now, and I'm just hoping that for 2017, you know, they do something like all the Toa have silver armor and silver masks. It's just a thought. It probably won't end, even end up happening, but it's just a new unique thing. So. That is probably one of the greatest Unity modes, and I'm just kind of looking at this now because I never really put the wings like this. I've always kept them really high up in the air uh, to the point where it just it looks different, but I do appreciate this. It does look nice as is, and I probably will end up keeping him in this sort of form. Uh, not to mention, he still looks great. Putting the golden mask on looks even better than the red mask, but it's great, 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 great Unity mode. And I definitely recommend. Do I re actually? I'll just say this now. Do I recommend uh, buying both of these sets at the same time? Definitely. Uh, Tau alone is a great set, but with with Iker, it just it's ten times better. So if you not if you have not already, definitely pick up Iker and Tahu because they're great sets. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time when we will be, when we will be reviewing the last hero unity mode, Onua and Terak. Then we will be reviewing all of Umarak's unity modes in one video. So that's going to be a little treat for you guys. So, goodbye.